Are you thinking about a career in cybersecurity but don't know where to start? Well, then you're in the right place because my guest today will help you with that. Since it's National Cybersecurity Career Awareness Week, I thought it would be appropriate to interview an expert in the field about how to start your career in it. So I have interviewed Taylor, or the Digital Empress, who is a cybersecurity engineer who used to work in the corporate space and now runs her own cybersecurity consultancy company. Taylor has over six years of experience in tech and is helping others get into cybersecurity. She documented her own journey and continues creating content about cybersecurity on her own YouTube channel, which I will leave a link to in the description. And if you're watching this on YouTube, in one of those corners, I don't remember which one and I'm dyslexic, so I don't know left and right. She has also created an awesome ebook helping guide beginners on their journey into cybersecurity. Where do they start? Uh, what's the best educational path for them? What certifications do they need to get? All of those questions are answered in that ebook, which I will leave a link to in the description. All right, let's get to our interview. Hi, Taylor, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Super excited for this conversation because cybersecurity is such a fantastic field and I know so many people are trying to get into it. So mm -hmm. let's get straight into it. Do you need a specific background to get into cybersecurity? Do you need to have a degree or anything like that? Um, that's a good question. So I get that asked a lot from many people that are looking to get into the field. Um, you don't necessarily need a degree, but uh, you do want to have basic skills such as like coding and it doesn't have to be like any higher level, you know, programming languages. Uh, we do look a lot um, at HTML and CSS a lot of the time uh, just to see how hackers are, you know, using exploits or whatever to, you know, get into systems, websites, uh, applications, stuff like that. Um, you do need systems. You need to know different systems such as uh, Mac, Linux, um, Windows. We use and fix and secure across all those platforms. Um, and you also want to know how to manage and secure and run and stuff like that with applications. We deal with a lot of applications, uh, securing applications. Um, even before you hop into security, you need to know how to, you know, set up and manage applications for you know, everyone on the network. So you need to know that. Um, and if you're having trouble, like, you know, learning these things or, you know, picking up these skills, there's so many different resources online that you can learn where to get this stuff from. Um, a lot of people that are already working in jobs, you know, they're uh, dealing with different systems, applications and stuff like that. So a lot of those skills can transfer over and choose cybersecurity. That's amazing. And it sounds like a lot of people from different backgrounds can go into cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Is there a stereotypical path though? Um, or is it easy for anyone from any career to just go in, like change careers and go into cybersecurity? Yeah. So the, I guess the stereotypical path would be like me and many others who have gotten degrees and then after we get degrees, we go, some of us get certs while we're ob obtaining our degrees um, or we get our degree um, and then we get certifications so that we can be able to, you know, swiftly kind of transfer over into jobs. And one of your entry level jobs would be like a security analysis or a stock operations center analysis. Um, but as far as like anyone, like um, say if they did not go to school, a lot of people just kind of, you know, get training, they get their certs, and then they start to kind of align what skills that they already have from corporate with the skills that they're looking for cybersecurity jobs. And what are the basic skills that you would recommend for any beginner, um, anyone, whether, you know, they have a degree in, let's say, computer science, or whether they're changing from the musical industry or I don't know, <laughs> something completely random. Um, what skills, what basic foundational knowledge would you recommend um, for them to start with? Um, so you do need a security and networking foundation. Like, you know, that you're going to need that through networking and security um, just because that's, based, that's what our hands are on most of the time. 
uh, logging and monitoring procedures. Uh, we're going to be taking, well, we use a lot of tools that monitor the network, that log, you know, all the actions that are being performed in the network. So you need to be familiar with different types of logging applications and how to analyze them. Um, you also need to know network defense tactics. So if in case, you know, someone does try to infiltrate a network, how to keep them from getting inside the network. Um, you also need to know cryptography and access management tactics. Um, this is just in case, you know, people are using uh, mechanisms to hide data or um, encrypt data over the network and they're trying to share, you know, uh, malicious files or whatever you need to know how to encrypt, decrypt, you know, all those different tools. Um, and you also need to know web application and security techniques. Sounds like a lot. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, it is, at the end of the day, you know, it is a very dynamic field and there's just so much that you have to consider. How would you recommend for people to learn these skills? Because, like, it is a lot. Are there any study guides or roadmaps that people can use to kind of, um, to help them guide their studies? Yeah, so um, there is plenty of online courses where people teach you know, all of these fundamentals and what you need to learn. There's plenty of security plus courses. Um, but to really get your hands dirty and, you know, get started with hands-on practice, um, a lot of us are taught in school to build like virtual labs at home, like our own home labs. And you implement all of those uh, basic skills that I, you know, named earlier. And you find like projects online. I have like a few resources that I use where I just take a project and I kind of implement it in my own home lab. Um, and a lot of people have been using like Amazon uh, AWS and my, uh, Microsoft or Stewart, you know, their cloud services to build like their own home lab. Just in case you kind of can't, you can't afford, you know, servers and stuff like that. You can build that um, on these cloud services. I offer an ebook, Cybersecurity Beginners ebook, that helps people to, you know, plan out their roadmap, figure out what skills they need for getting into cybersecurity, um, if they need school or not, uh, which one best fits their lifestyle. I offer that. Um, when I was in school, I would um, I would use Google and YouTube a lot of the times to just kind of search up what could I expect, you know, what's the best route. And I'd take notes on anything that I found that was like, you know, something that would help me. So uh, Google, YouTube, uh, people like me, we're all over the place that you can find online. And um, it will help you, you know, get whatever you need to get started. And I will leave that ebook. Um, I will leave a link to that ebook in the description for anyone who is interested. So go and get it. It's awesome. <laughs> and my next question is, okay, let's say somebody is in, uh, is in a non techy role. Let's say they're in the music industry. Let's go with that example. Mm -hmm. So where would you recommend for someone who is just getting into technology, who is interested in cybersecurity, what would you recommend for them to start their learning process? Um, I usually send people, I recommend this site all the time. Um, it's in my ebook, it's on my website, uh, cyberdegrees.org. Um, it will, it has everything from like what career titles you can get, how to switch from, you know, this non-technical job to this technical job. Um, it teaches you about the different degree programs. It teaches you about the different uh, online programs that you can get into to start building new skills, what certs you need, um, stuff like that. And then as well as, you know, people like me that you come across that, you know, have been in a non-technical background and kind of switched into tech or went to school for tech. Um, us as well. Um, what else? Yeah, there's like, if you just put in the search engine, uh, how to go from a non-technical job to a technical job, it's there, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's literally everywhere. Absolutely. And Googling is a superpower when you're in a talk technical role too, right? So yes. start Googling. We, we use Google or, you know, just search engine, whatever search engine that you like, we're using that all day, every day in cybersecurity. Like you have to... I always tell people you have to know how to be nosy in this field because we're going to be researching, snooping into stuff, trying to find out all the answers to everything that we're going through. 
So you have to know how to Google and YouTube. <laughs> and YouTube as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess a lot of people who are watching this right now might still be undecided whether they want to seriously pursue cybersecurity or basically they, they, they're they not sure, but they're super mm -hmm. curious. Is there a way for people like that to see what it's like um, to work in cybersecurity in different roles or do maybe try themselves out somehow so that they can try it out and make a decision? Yes, uh, if you go to YouTube, actually, as we just talked about uh, and type in like ban the life of like a cybersecurity specialist or a cybersecurity intern, a cybersecurity student, you know, you just type in a day in the life. There's so many videos that pop up of people, you know, that are showing what they do from like in the morning up until, you know, they leave from work. Um, I wish I could have done this when I was working in corporate, but um, I guess now I'll do it. Um, people have been asking me to do my day in the life as like a cybersecurity entrepreneur. So um, I guess I'll do that. But if you just go on YouTube and just type in day in the life, you will see so many videos pop up of people showing you what they do in their jobs, you know, what they do at school, what they do in their internships. And it will give you an idea of like what you're going to be doing on the job. And I'm very excited for when you create that video because I'm <laughs> super curious to see what you do as a cybersecurity entrepreneur because you're combining two fields that I'm very interested in, cybersecurity and entrepreneurship. So yeah, yeah. watch me out for that video and I'll mm -hmm. share it with my audience uh, when it comes out. Uh, but thank you so much. This has been so helpful, so valuable. And I'm sure there are a lot of people who are watching this that were taking notes and that will go and check out your, uh, your ebook that is in the description right now. So guys, it's there. <laughs> thank you so much, Taylor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Taylor, for sharing the insights and the super actionable steps for anyone who's interested in a career in cybersecurity, whether they do have a background in technology or they're changing their careers from, well, the musical industry. Let's use that same example. Make sure to follow Taylor on social media and subscribe to her YouTube channel. All the links will be in the description and also Get her ebook if you're interested in a career in cybersecurity. Again, the link to it will also be in the description. Let me know in the comments if this video has answered your questions. And if you have any more, please ask them in the comments. Like this video if you've enjoyed it. Share with a friend who is thinking about a career in cybersecurity. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. We can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time today you're currently experiencing. Bye.